butter or margarine? Which is the healthier choice and how do they impact our health? Butter is derived from churning milk or cream. Primarily, it's made up of fats, approximately 80%, with 16% water and traces of carbs and proteins. An interesting thing to note is the color variation, butter from grass-fed cows tends to be a darker yellow, while that from grain-fed cows is paler. If you're aiming for a more organic choice, darker yellow is the way to go. Butter's solid state at room temperature is due to its saturated fat content. Historically, saturated fats were labeled as detrimental to our health. However, recent views suggest that there isn't a direct link between butter consumption and cardiovascular risk. In fact, consistent butter intake might even reduce the risk of diabetes by 4%. While butter is packed with essential vitamins like A, D, E and beneficial fats like omega-3 and omega-6, it doesn't quite make the cut as a superfood. On the contrary, there's evidence to suggest it slightly elevates the risk of mortality. A meta-analysis found that butter marginally increases the risk of death by 1%, rendering it a nearly neutral food in terms of health impact. Margarine was introduced as a healthier alternative to butter, but the initial iterations didn't quite hit the mark. Made from vegetable oils, which are liquid at room temperature due to their unsaturate fat content, margarine undergoes a hydrogenation process to solidify. This process transforms some unsaturated fats to saturated ones, but also creates trans fats as a byproduct. Trans fats are notorious for their adverse effects on health, increasing risks of cardiovascular disease, stroke, and systemic inflammation. Disturbingly, regular intake of margarine rich in trans fats can hike up mortality risk by a staggering 34%. So, what's the way forward? The industry has responded by producing trans fat free margarines. These newer versions of margarines are without trans fats, which makes them healthier, because core of margarine is unsaturated fats which are considered healthy. Another advanced option is sterile fortified margarine. Sterols, plant based compounds, act as cholesterol competitors. When ingested, the body tends to absorb sterols over cholesterol. Since sterols aren't harmful, sterile fortified margarines confer a health benefit by decreasing LDL cholesterol levels in the blood by a notable 10%. Additionally, trans fat free margarines have been associated with a 15% reduced risk of heart disease. In conclusion, when comparing traditional butter with conventional margarine, butter emerges as the healthier choice due to the trans fats in margarine. However, when pitted against transfat-free and especially sterile fortified margarine, the latter options are decidedly healthier. So, the next time you're at the store deciding between butter and margarine, it might be a good idea to opt for a transfat-free, sterile fortified margarine.